So this was a tree that had come down in Langhorn, Pennsylvania that we brought the mill out to. This was a 10 foot long log, 22 inches in diameter at one end, about 17, 18 inches in the other. This lumber was milled up on site. Uh, this happened to be ambrosia maple. We took this lumber, we cut that into slabs and those slabs now are dry and are in our shop here in Huntington Valley. We have the ability to bring this mill out to your location, take a fallen tree like this one here and cut it into, you know, slabs, lumber, or anything that you, you know, need to use for your project. This mill is a, a Norwood HD 36. Um, we can do up to 29 inch slabs or we can take a 36 inch log, turn it into a 29 inch cant and then cut that 29 inch cant into 29 inch flat slabs. You can see here in this video, we took the, the very first cut is what we call the waste cut, right? You have to square off the top of the, of the log. So that gives us a flat surface to roll it over onto so that we have a, a reference surface to mill everything to. You can see in this log from this angle that the, you can see the ambrosia spalting out um, from the pith of the log. Here we're cutting our first slabbing cut. Uh, this is eight quarter lumber, so it's about two inches thick. And you can see how quickly we can rip through with this machine. Usually you'll do, we'll take that first waist cut off the top and then we'll do two or three cuts, either eight quarter or four quarter to get down to where we have a nice wide surface and then we can roll it over and do the same thing on the other side of the log. Here we're showing the ambrosia in the, you know, from the ambrosia beetle, the, the, what's, what's happening with the enzymes and everything in the wood changing color, getting that gray tint. Here we're now we've taken the, the slab, we've flattened it on the other side. You can really see here, the, the heartwood where all the ambrosia has happening from the beetle. And now we flip that flat surface down as a reference surface and allows us to flip over to the other side. We'll have a waste cut there and then we'll cut, you know, more two quarter or eight quarter or four quarter lumber off of that. Here's a shot from the end. Um, once we get it like that, we can go ahead and do you know, three or four or five different cuts before we actually have to pull the slabs off once we have that flattened on the one side. And you can really see in here that how the grain of the ambrosia is running through the, the maple. Another shot, you know, still of that grain again and, and all the graying happening from the ambrosia maple, the ambrosia beetle in the maple. You can actually see where the beetle is bored into the log. This whole operation milling this log probably took maybe two hours, an hour and a half to two hours per log to go ahead and mill it up and, and to create the lumber. Well, we recommend that you have all of your logs already in one centralized location where the mill can pull parallel to the logs. It'll save you a lot of time and money. We charge $75 an hour for one man to come out with the mill. We ask that you have a helper there. Um, if you don't want to provide a helper, that's fine. It's another $30 an hour for an additional person to come and be the helper. It's a two hour minimum. We also charge uh, one way, uh, fee for per mile to bring the mill out to the your location so we we can you know we'll go within a reasonable distance of our shop in Huntington Valley 
you know, so 40, 50 miles wouldn't even be a problem. We would do it. I think we have, we charge a dollar 50 a mile for, for that service to, to bring it out. Um, it's best if we are coming to your location that you have all your logs lined up in such a way that we can load them and bring the mill up parallel to it. That's going to save you time and money. And then stacking, um, you want to have what we call stickers, which is a three quarter inch piece of lumber that is going to be the length of the width of your log. And you're going to need one every 16 inches on your log. So depending on how long your log is, you want to have that. I recommend going to Home Depot. They sell one by three or one by twos there that you can use and cut the size to make stickers from. So you, you would want to have those there as well to be able to be able to have your lumber air dried. Where we also offer a drying service. So you could have it come to us, we would bring it back. At that point, we wouldn't even bring the mill to your location. We would just pick up your logs, bring it back to our location, mill them here, and then put them into the eye dry and let it dry okay. that way. And it's a, about a week per inch. So if we do it at four quarter, it would be about a week in the kiln. If it's eight quarter, two weeks, 12 quarter, three weeks, and so on. Okay. Thank you.